Hello and welcome back to Concert Critiques in Cars with Emily. Um, so tonight's show was pretty awesome. I've never seen either of these bands. So I was pretty excited to see both of them. Um, so the venue was Meriwether Post Pavilion and um, the bands were um, Train and the Goo Goo Dolls and Alan Stone opened for them. Um, so getting there was pretty easy. Um, I actually had stopped in Laurel um, to go up to jailbreak <laughs> and um then i came up so getting here was not a big deal parking of course is always a pain now that they have this whole new parking system i honestly think it's more of a pain than a help i honestly prefer the big lot as opposed to these different lots and garages and things like that but whatever getting here was not that bad um except for when i came to park obviously it was a little bit crowded but that's okay um so alan stone was kind of just okay um <laughs> so the first song like right off the bat I was like nope I don't like the music I didn't like the lyrics um but by the end of that first song it was actually a little bit better um and then I did enjoy the second song more so than the first one and also during the second song they had like this little choreographer dance with the guitarist the bassist and the singer so that was kind of cool um the third song was definitely too elevator -y rock for me so that I did not enjoy so much um but then the fourth song had a really good instrumental bridge so I really liked that um and then again that fifth song kind of went back we went back to that elevator -y rock feel which I wasn't a huge fan of um but then the last song I actually really did like I think that may have been the highlight um of that set for me it was definitely the bridge in the fourth song and then that last song I really liked um Goo Goo Dolls oh my gosh so uh, initially I like really was kind of upset that Goo Goo Dolls was going before Train because I felt like I knew and liked more Goo Goo Dolls songs than I liked Train songs um so Goo Goo Dolls opened with two songs that I didn't know um but it was like the first song especially I was just like oh my gosh like it's Goo Goo Dolls like I'm seeing them live right now um and then after that they played Slide <laughs> which again was just like such a fangirl moment and just like all the subtle changes ugh, it was just so good it's like you know holding notes keeping words and then adding them later like it was just such a good way to like get me even more pumped about the fact that I'm seeing Goo Goo Dolls. Um, then they played um, another song that I didn't know and then they kind of went back into some of the songs that I did know so they played um, So Alive which is interesting to me because that's like their newer more popular song but it's super not as popular as their older songs. Um, so I thought it was interesting that it was so cute, like the way that the lead singer was trying to get the crowd in. He was saying things like, don't make me come up there. Like you guys better like sing and put your hands up and stuff. So it was really cute. Um, and then after that they played Name. And so he played like the first verse and the whole first chorus acoustically. And then the rest of the band came in and oh my gosh, just such a good song to see. Um, then they played um black balloon which was awesome and they had these big huge black balloons like tossed into the crowds so the crowd was um hitting those around while the song was being played um and again then they kind of played um some stuff that i wasn't didn't really know although they did play a new song off of their newest album that's coming out this fall um miracle pill and i definitely had heard that before that actually may have been in the running for one of my songs of the week on um my song surveys and so um I definitely had heard that song and I really did like it and the chorus was especially good um really really liked that and then after that they played um oh my gosh they played a couple others and I'm trying to think of what was like the big deal but anyway I'm gonna get into the two songs that I like was super excited about so um after they played um, a couple of songs that I ne didn't necessarily recognize or recognize but wasn't super familiar with, like there was definitely one song towards the end that I was like, oh, I do know this song, but I'm not super like versed in the song. Um, then they played Iris and of course, again, like just super fangirling, but um, yeah, so they played Iris and they let the crowd sing the line, um, bleed just to know you're alive. So that was like just so good. Just so good. Um, really, really, really loved that. And then um, after that, they played Broadway. Totally forgot that was a um, Goo Goo Doll song. Totally like 
didn't even occur to me that I'd be hearing that tonight. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Um, and yeah, so I thought the visuals were really good, particularly for the second song, which I didn't know, but I really liked it. It was like machiney, and so I it was cool, like all the parts were moving, so I thought that was cool. And then um, during that song that I kind of knew but wasn't super familiar with, towards the end, they had like water and it was like rain, um, like on a window, so that was kind of cool. I really liked that visual as well. Um, again, just so exciting to see Goo Goo Dolls, that was really cool. Um, and I feel like I'm forgetting a couple songs here or there, but if I remember them, I'll go back. Anyway, so then Train. <laughs> and again, keep in mind, I was like, uh, I'll know a couple of their songs, but whatever. So first of all, I love that they come out to the sound of a train. I think that that is fantastic. A little bit cheesy, but super fantastic. Um, and then their first three songs, I like totally knew, and I was really surprised. Um, the first one was... Um, Calling All Angels, which I was, again, like, didn't really think that that was a train song. So I was just like, oh, I know this song. This is great. Um, and then the second one was, like, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it has something to do with, like, different ways to die. Um, so again, that was just, like, a fun, upbeat, good, like, pulling in song for the crowd. Um, and then the third one was a song that I knew and totally recognized. Um, I want to say maybe if if it's love or something like that I don't know I could be totally wrong but I definitely recognized it it was definitely a cool song and and again I was like oh wow I like know a lot of train songs <laughs> um so that was really fun um and then they kind of played a couple songs that I did not know and was not familiar with but um but yeah so they did the next song that they played or at least one of the songs that they played shortly after that was something about San Francisco and so during that song um they had um like beach balls being thrown but actually wait let me go back for a second sorry so during the third song which I totally knew he went around the crowd and um so anyone who threw up their cell phone to him on the stage he took a selfie and so that was pretty cool and I mean like people were just chucking their cell phones then he would throw it back to them so that was awesome and actually at the end of that song he took his own cell phone out of his pocket and was like all right I'm gonna take a you know, video of the crowd to like get crazy. Um, so he did that and then he actually threw his cell phone off stage, which was again, impressive that he just trusts that the guy's going to catch it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was cool. And then, so for the San Francisco song, um, he actually took the camera of the, um, camera guy and was pointing it to the different sections of the crowd and asking them to sing the part of the song that was being like, part of the chorus that, that that would be sung eventually so that was kind of cool like he was like all right this side do it and he was like pointing the camera okay this side do it. all right the middle the lawn um so I really liked that I thought that was an interesting and very like unique and cool touch um not very many singers grab the camera from the cameraman and kind of pointed at the crowd so that was pretty cool um yeah so then after the San Francisco song they um again the order of these songs might not be super correct but um so they played Meet Virginia, which I like totally, totally forgot about that song. Didn't even realize, would have never guessed it was by train. <laughs> but again, it was just such a pleasant surprise. It was really awesome. Um, so I really, really loved that song. And um, what I loved about it was so the lead singer went off the stage at one point and during that song told us that the guitarist was from Baltimore so he was like well he's like this guitarist like needs a second chance at that that was like a terrible guitar solo so he needs a second chance at it so that was actually pretty cool the guitar the second guitar solo was awesome um and also though so then he came back on with a train shirt and he was like all right I'm gonna throw some shirts and so as the band is playing so he signs it and then as the band is playing still playing their instruments he goes over to each band member and has them sign the shirt so that was pretty cool in and of itself the fact that like they were like literally live signing things um on stage again something I'd never seen before so that was really cool um and so then after that or even before that I'm, I'm not, again forgive me it's a lot to remember um they played like slower songs so the first one was for military um and he said that he wrote that in with keeping in mind that people were being deployed um so that was kind of cool and, and again like a slower song and then he played another song um marry me and talked about how he forgot his anniversary two weeks ago um so so yeah so that those were like slower songs and I didn't really recognize either of them but um you know they were just like a good portion of the set you know some 
bands tend to do that, right? They put the slower songs in the middle, so that was definitely not atypical. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I know I'm like forgetting things and definitely out of order. Um, yeah, I guess like I was just surprised at how many songs I knew. So then after that, like they they played Soul Sister and then they played um, Drive By, Drive By, and then Soul Sister, Drive By was first and then Soul Sister. So again, like those were just like super fun songs and it was just, you know, you hear like the subtle changes and stuff and it was really great. Um, and so after that, they basically talked about the encore. He was like, so this is where we're done, but normally we would go off and hope that you guys would bring us back on, but I'm like too old for that. So this is like what we're doing now. Um, so that was kind of nice. I, again, I appreciate when a band doesn't need that extra time to like go off and make me wait, <laughs> especially since this was a later show because um, Goo Goo Dolls played for um, an hour and like five minutes versus just the normal like 45 minutes. Um, like so kind of a co-headliner um anyway so after that they oh I forgot to mention before they went off for their encore okay okay before they went off for the encore the guitarist and the bassist sang and played under pressure and it was fantastic really really liked that um also like way before that um the lead singer or so Alan Stone came back on the stage um, to Alicia Keys' uh, New York State of Mind, which was pretty great. I, I do love that song. Um, and then he explained that this song was, the song that they were going to play was written in New York called Bruises and that normally it's a female singer. So the fact that he was singing this female part, he was like, just be aware of that. So that was, um, and I, again, I didn't know that song, um, but just cool that they had the singer come back out to, to play that song. So I, I did again, appreciate that. Um, Sorry, so now jumping ahead, see, this is, I knew I was going to remember things out of order. But, um, okay, so then after they went off for their encore, they talked about, so this is again right after um, Soul Sister. They played uh, what to me sounded like a classic rock song, and it literally really could have been like a cover, and I honestly would not have known, but it was definitely the low point of their set for me. I was not a fan of that song. I tend not to love that style of music in general. Um, so that was a really hard one for me to get through. And then at the end, he definitely did play um, like notes, or, or at least a part of a like classic rock song that I recognized. So I was like, wait, is that the song from the beginning? But I was like, I don't think so. So I don't know. If you know, please comment and let me know because I am just totally, totally ignorant in that area of music. Um, so yeah, so that was definitely the low point for me. And then um, after that, they played Drops of Jupiter, which was just so good. Like, again, fangirl moment, just that's like, oh, God, I just so many, so many nights listening to that song on repeat over and over again. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty great. I was really excited about that song again, like so nerdy. And I'm so glad that that was the last song. I was a little bit afraid that they were going to play another song. Um, so I was really, really glad that they didn't. And I was really glad that, that was the last song. I also forgot to tell you that during Goo Goo Dolls set, the bassist sang some songs. Um, and neither of the songs were songs that I knew. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was interesting. And I also would love to note that um, his voice, the bassist's voice as a speech pathologist, a little bit concerning, a little bit raspy. Um, but yeah, so that was like super cool. I didn't realize that um, the bassist sang some songs for Goo Goo Dolls. So that was pretty interesting. And then the other thing, let's see, now I'm jumping around all over the place. Um, they all, Train also played a Tom Petty cover at, at toward, in the middle of the set. Um, so that was pretty cool. And I didn't recognize the song. Um, so it was pretty great. So yeah, the covers were definitely on point tonight, um, except for maybe that classical rock one, which again, I have no idea if it was even a cover. Just really was not up my alley for things that I enjoyed listening to. Um, <laughs> okay, so score. Um, wasn't a huge fan of the first band. Again, they had like some songs that were pretty okay, but nothing that was like super pulling and definitely not something that I would go seek out and be like, oh my gosh, like I have to like listen to this band and, and listen to them more. Um, Goo Goo Dolls was just so good. So good. Um, and again, probably the low points were the few songs I didn't know that didn't grab me. Um, in particular, the, definitely one of the songs sang by the bassist. I was just kind of like, eh. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it was so, oh God, seeing those songs that just like defined uh, basically like a decade for me and still define music for me, like it was just so great and it was so cool to see and uh, just, I mean, come on, Iris and letting us sing that line, <laughs> so good. Um, and then Train really like blew my mind. They were so good. They did cool stuff on stage that I'd never seen before and it was just, it was great. I really was pleasantly surprised. I really thought I was just going to be sitting in my seat going, Ugh, please just play Drops of Jupiter and be done with it already. Um, but again, I really was like very pleasantly surprised. They really did a, an excellent job. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to give this one an 8.5. Um, again, the highlights were really high for me and then the lows were just like not even that low. So I mean, can't really like take away too much credit for that because overall it was a fantastic show so yeah 8.5 is my score let me know what you think do you agree do you disagree were you there were you not there did you want to go um did you go to a different show in a different city um so yeah so like subscribe and please comment and i will see you guys next time bye